Hi, this is Anu and welcome back to my channel. Spring is around the corner and it inspired me to take a um, boring little tank top that might not have made it through another year and turn it into this pretty little dress with a lot of personality. As I have mentioned before, sewing is not my forte, so I always try to maximize the use of my crochet hook and that's why I use this really sharp pointy crochet hook. In my last tutorial, I showed you how to add a beautiful scallop edging to your tank top and embellish it. And in this tutorial, we're going to take it to the next level and transform your tank top into a beautiful little dress. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful fan stitch and a V-stitch. We are going to crochet in the round and add a little skirt to our tank top. Today again we are only going to use very basic simple crochet techniques, mainly single crochet and double crochet. If you need to catch up on those techniques, click the link down below. Subscribe to my channel to get new tutorials every week. Let's give this tank top a makeover. Are you ready? I know I am. Happy crochet! To make this beautiful little dress you will need a tank top a crochet hook 325 millimeters, a piercing crochet hook 175 millimeters, a pair of scissors, tapestry needle, a ruler, and two skin of yarn Baroque Comfort DK in beige. Take your ruler, take a washable marker, place your ruler midway between the edge and the beginning of the seam, and you will mark every quarter of an inch all around. Since the bottom is kind of um, round, just move your ruler, making sure that you're dotting it evenly, always midway in between the seam and the edge of your tank top. See how I'm moving my, my ruler there? As the bottom is uh, not straight. Once you're done, take your piercing hook, see how it's sharp at the end? It will allow you to pass through your tank top easily. It needs a little bit of a pushing, but it's not too bad. Take your yarn and then working, wrap it around the crochet hook, pass it through the little hole you just made. And with both of the yarn, yarn over and through the loop. Let your end yarn be and continue with the working yarn in the next little dot. Pierce, crochet, yarn over your crochet. Make sure you pull a little to make your stitch not too tight. And repeat. We're going to continue like that all along, going over the seam and continuing on the other side exactly the same way. Now my tank top is for my daughter, it's the size 7-8. Uh, you can use any size tank top as long as the end number of stitch that you get is a multiple of 8 plus 2. Be careful with your sharp crochet hook and don't poke yourself as I did. Slip stitch when you meet your first stitch. Now it's time to change crochet hook, chain 1, single crochet in the same stitch. single crochet in the next and you're going to proceed like so all along one single crochet then two single crochet in the next stitch all along
And this is how your work will look like. Now let's make the fan stitch. You are going to skip three stitches and in the next you are going to make nine double crochets. You just created a little fan. There you go. You have nine double crochets. You're going to skip three stitches. And in the fourth one, you're going to single crochet. And this is basically what you're going to do all along. Skip three stitches, nine double crochet in the fourth. And then skip three stitches again and single crochet in the fourth. And you're going to repeat all along. You are done with your second round. For the third one, you are going to chain four and in the same space, double crochet. You are going to create V-stitches. You are going to chain two. You are going to skip four double crochets and single crochet at the top of the fifth one. Chain two again, and you are going to do one double crochet, one chain, one double crochet in the single crochet from the previous round. You are creating V stitches. So, this is what you're going to be doing for your third round. You're going to chain two single crochet on top of the six double crochet you made from the previous round chain two and in the single crochet from the previous round you're going to make a v-stitch you know how to make fans and v-stitches awesome and you are done with your third round let's begin your fourth round in the middle of your v-stitch from your previous round make 11 double crochets In the single crochet we had made at the top of the little fan in the previous round, we're going to single crochet. And in the next V-stitch, you're going to make 11 double crochet again. And single crochet in the single crochet from the previous round. And you're going to continue like so all along. This is how your work will look like. Now you are done with your fourth round. For the fifth round, you are going to chain three and you're going to, on top of the single crochet from the previous round, make one double crochet, one chain, one double crochet. You are going to then chain three again now you're going to skip five double crochets from the fan and single crochet on top of the six double crochet chain three again and the next single crochet from the previous round you're going to double crochet one chain one and double crochet in the same stitch again so you get the idea, it's a V-stitch, chain, 
single crochet, chain, V-stitch. You are done with your fifth round. For the sixth one, you are going to make your fan in each little V-stitch. This time you are going to make 13 double crochet in every V-stitch. And then single crochet on top of the single crochet from previous round. This is how your work will look like. For the seven round, you are going to chain three, make a V stitch with double crochet, double crochet, chain double crochet in the single crochet from the previous round. Chain three. This time you are going to skip six double crochets and single crochet on top of the seventh one. Chain three again and make a V stitch in the next single crochet from the previous round. You have three fan rounds. Now let's begin your eighth round. You are going to make 15 double crochet in your V stitch from previous round, single crochet in the single crochet from previous round, and 15 double crochet in the next V stitch again. And you're going to continue like so all around. You have four rounds of fans. Now your ninth round is going to be a little different. You are going to chain four. You're going to skip seven double crochet and single crochet on top of the eighth one. Then you're going to chain four again. And your V-stitch is going to be a little different in so that you are going to make a double crochet and instead of one chain you're going to make two chains and double crochet again in the same single crochet from the previous round. So instead of having one chain in between your double crochets, you're having two now. Chain four again and again. Skip seven double crochet and single crochet on top of the eighth one. And this is how you're going to continue all along your ninth round. For your 10th round, you are going to make 15 double crochet in the V-stitch. And single crochet in the single crochet from previous round. And continue like so all around. This is how your work will look like. We created five rounds of fan. You are going to continue like that until the end of your work, repeating the same thing. One round of 15 double crochet, creating your fan, and then the next round creating your V-stitches. And you're going to continue like so until you have seven rounds of fans. Take your scissors fast enough. Take your tapestry needle and sew your loose tails at the back of your work. Make a knot and cut. And this is how your work will look like. Oh my god, I love the way it came out. It is so pretty. The tank top will stretch it all with the weight of the yarn. 
at the bottom, which gives it more the look of a dress. I think it's absolutely adorable. What do you think? I think a nice little touch would be to add a little flower. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you're still enjoying your crochet journey with me. I'm looking forward to see you soon for another tutorial. In the meantime, happy crochet! Mwah.